On the 27th of January 2010, it was reported that the UK economy had emerged from the recession. So why is it that in January 2011, reports say that the UK unemployment rate has risen to 2.53 million, with youth unemployment at its highest since 1992? Are we really out of the recession? We follow the lives of three applicants that have successfully obtained a job interview for an advertising company. They have all agreed for us to film their lives for the week prior to the interview. This will allow us to see how the recession has affected each of their lives differently and why each one needs this job. Annette is 36, married with no children. She has been working in advertising for 12 years. Unfortunately, she has recently been laid off. She is hopeful that she will get this job as she has so much experience in advertising. Well, the reason I want this advertising job is because I've got a lot of experience. I'm very good at what I do. And so I think I've got a good chance of getting this job. Um, the last company I worked for uh, unfortunately they had to lay off a, a lot of their staff and that included me um, it happened all over the country because of the bad economic climate but the worst thing was what they did was they got rid of the more experienced staff and kept the younger ones because they could pay them less which doesn't seem very fair to me at all Katie is 26 years old and has a first class honours degree in advertising and economics however with very little experience, she has been unable to find a relevant job and currently works in a cafe. Well, at the moment, I'm working at the tea rooms just to pay the bills until I get my career on track. I've looked for lots of different jobs too. Um, it's been difficult because I've applied for pretty much everything and anything that just pays a little bit higher than here. You wouldn't believe how frustrating it's been to apply for advertising jobs that I've passed my degree for with pretty good marks. Um, they've said that I don't have enough experience, but how am I supposed to gain the experience if they're not letting me have the job in the first place? Jack Wilson is a 20-year-old student in his last year of university studying business advertising. He is currently unemployed. Why, why do I want the job? Um, well, I don't really want the job per se. Like, uh, my dad works at the advertising agency where uh, and he, he told me about a couple of them going, so I thought I might as well, might as well apply, you know. Um, and as the parents have cut me off for the time being, the money would definitely come in handy, you know. I mean, this is always saying that I'm sponging off my mum and dad, so I would definitely show her. But, on the other hand, it would actually be nice to chill for a few, for a few years, for a few bit after, uh, for about three years of uni, you know what I mean? So, we'll see, we'll see. You know, I've got a job interview coming up shortly and I think it's really important that you look your best. Yes, I'm enjoying my time off. I mean, I've been working so long and so hard for years. I mean, it's nice to treat yourself. I like to be pampered and have a bit of a relax. I've even had that thing where you put your feet in with a fish and then nibble at your feet and it's absolutely fantastic. I love it. In fact, I might get some done today. <laughs> Why not? Treat yourself. <laughs> Well, my day usually involves coming to the uni for like lectures and stuff. I mean, I try and get as involved in lectures as much as I can, but that can often like depend on whether I've been out on the town like the night before, because you know it does often happen. <laughs> but you know, it, it, I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm not paying for it yet. I, I assume things will actually affect me this year because um, to what I finish, but. I do agree, it is ridiculous what they're going up to, I mean, isn't it like nine grand or something? But on the bright side, it means less people will be getting degrees, so there's more chance of me getting a job in it. <laughs> so when I get home, 
Um, obviously I come home and I make some tea but I've been looking for jobs all the time and oh, jobs are so difficult to look for at the moment that's part of my daily routine yeah it definitely is do you mind if I get that sorry um, no sure are you sure? Yeah, are you yeah. sure that's fine? alright sorry it's fine. Um, this is my dad do you mind if I just answer it? no no okay. hello? Oh, just in time. You are? You're right. Give me a minute. My dad has just been in a car crash. Would you mind if, if I went? It's, I'd really. I'd really like to go and see you. Yeah. Are you, are you sure that's okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, um, okay. Yeah, Dad, Dad, it's fine. It doesn't matter. No, absolutely fine. Yeah, the, ca the camera is it's fine. Don't worry about it. No, it's fine. I'm coming. Just give me two seconds. Yeah, I'm, I'm on my way. Right, see you in a minute. Bye-bye. It's the day of the job interviews and each applicant is busy getting ready. Katie and Annette are relaxed and prepared. Jack, however, is running late. Today we're looking to recruit someone with new ideas to help us with our larger clients. They needn't be experienced, must be able to work in a team and share those fresh ideas. In the waiting room, each applicant nervously waits for their name to be called to go into their interview. And at least? Yes. Yeah, I'll just take you upstairs. Okay, thank you. No problem. Oh, come in. You must be Katie, Annette, Jack. That's right. Nice to meet you. All right, take a seat, please. <laughs> right. How's it been with the cameras? Um, it's been a bit odd, to tell you the truth. Um, it's going to be a bit strange to watch it back on TV. Yeah, I expect it will be. Right. Could you please tell me about yourself? Well, um, I'm very interested in advertising. I did advertising and economics at university. And um, while I was there, we did, we did a lot of advertisement campaigns for our university, learning about how to manage an advertisement, how it can help market a company. Well, I don't really have that much experience, on, I only like know what I've learned from the modules that I've been taking. Hopefully you, you've got a copy of my CV and my application form, which tells you quite a bit about myself. But I worked for the same company for 12 years, an advertising company, and um, I gained a lot of clients during that time, uh, a lot of experience, and I loved working for that company. So you're still at university, what grades do you expect to get? Well I mean, obviously everyone wants a first, like, I would love a first, but realistically I'd probably say I'd probably, like I'd be close to a first, maybe a 2-1, I'm hoping. Yeah, well the higher the better isn't it really? Yeah, the, uh, the higher the better, yeah. Just a little situation, if you were on a campaign for this company, uh, and it overran on the day, and it was going to interrupt with your uh, home life, where you had a, a day it's all fixed up. Mm -hmm. Which one would you choose? Well, I'd obviously try and think of uh, how to go around by doing both. But if, like, if the worst can go, I'd obviously pick work over personal and social life, definitely. Um, if it was something not so serious, then then I'd probably choose the company. Well, that's not a problem actually, because my hu my husband is um, a, a businessman, and uh, he often has to do uh, has to do uh, stayovers, stopovers, and things. And so, as long as I got in touch with him and let him know what my situation was, then there wouldn't be a problem. And um, for me, the job would come first. 
Well, Jack, you've had a very good interview. Thank you very much okay. indeed for coming, and we'll let you know within two or three days. All right, cheers, man. Thank very you. nice to meet you. Yeah. Just we'll finish off the interview now. You've done a very good interview, and we'll let you know within the next two or th uh, two or three days. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much indeed. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'd love to be part of your team. I, I really do think that I would make a good a good. Yes, term. you've made that point uh, very emphatically, and that and I take everything on board that you've said. You've made, had a very good interview. I'll tell you that. We'll have to look at uh, the other applicants who are in. Sure. So I'd like to thank you very much indeed for your time, okay, and uh, we'll let you know as soon as possible. Well, it's been lovely to meet you, Kevin. And thank see you, you Matt. Thank you. Can you just see yourself out then? Yes, I'll just send it to send the next one in. Okay, please. thank you. Thank you. Thank bye you. bye. At this moment in time, I can't tell you who's got the job, but your three candidates all have their own strengths and weaknesses. There are many candidates to be considered and we have to look at them all individually. Yes, I think I've got a good chance of getting the job. With all the experience I've got, I think I'm in the running. Oh, well, yeah. Ho hopefully, hopefully, we'll get the job. I mean, you know, it, uh, it would be nice just to walk into somewhere after I finish uni. Yeah, it's, um, it's a job I'd really like, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's within my degree and it's what I wanted, it's the job I wanted for after my degree. Um, much better pay than the tea shop. Yeah, um, oh yeah, my mum would be really proud of me for doing this. She'd tell me, like, if, if she was still here, she'd tell me to just go for it. She would definitely just say, just go for your interview, knock them dead, and get the job. That's what she'd say to me. Um, so, Let's just don't forget it, eh? Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. That was uh, Kevin um, talking about the job interview. <laughs> Looks like I'll be making tea for a little bit longer, doesn't it? Thank you very much. Thank you. Giving the job to somebody else. It's their loss. Yes, right. Guess I got the job. 